Welcome to VR Fast Forward, where I review games as fast as I possibly can. Today we have a multiplayer only game that really made me feel like a super happy 26 year old boomer. The game is Grapple Tournament VR, came out yesterday from this video's release for PC VR platform, comes out next year for Quest platform. This game is basically mashing up the Quake multiplayer experience with some Halo 3 elements as well. Explains why I find it so much fun. I loved both of those games. Game puts you in a lobby, customization, for free, is available. I went with reptile person because that's pretty much what big government officials probably are, and I wanted to be important. Let's add an afro for more humanity. Oh, and VR goggles. Eyes don't need to be inside. Some VR headsets IPD levels don't even fit some people. So who cares? Choose between multiplayer, which is hard to find a game. A complaint with many PC VR only multiplayer games. And then there's bot mode. For this video, let's do bot. Five maps right now, all distinct, Still could use more, and probably more will be added. Early access game. The best part of this game for me is the weapon designs. Most of this video will be talking about that. Weapon pickups are spread across the map. You have pistols, shotguns, snipers, rocket launchers, needler type gun from Halo series, and Gatling guns. Well, Brad, what is so special about that? Well, this game handles guns incredibly special. You could be normal and one-handed, or you can hold certain larger guns with two hands. Wow, two-handed guns? What does it mean? It actually means you give your gun a totally additional function. Holding a shotgun with two hands allows you to shoot grenades. Holding a Gatling gun with two hands allows you to constantly spin it up with an extra shield for protection. Possibly my favorite example is the sniper that sends out a weird energy ball that does damage. But if you shoot it right before next to an enemy, it explodes, boom, doing a bunch of damage. I freaking love that. But that doesn't mean you have to hold guns with two hands. In fact, you can dual wield every gun in the game. Dual pistols, Psh, child's play. Dual shotguns, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Dual Gatling guns, oh man, now we are talking. So yeah, I like the guns, but I also like the movement. It's called Grapple Tournament VR. You can grapple fast across the map. You can double jump, you can jump midair, you can climb. This game is full on movement. Super fast paced and mixed with the weapons feels amazing. But the movement might actually be its downfall for a lot of people. It has comfort options in the game to give a big neck like most games, but it's still maybe too fast for people who easily get motion sick. We're having large influxes of new VR players every day and they get motion sick from the smallest things. Poor babies. One day they'll be able to play this game as their stomachs hopefully become iron. But this game is a true test of VR legs. Also, it's only on PC VR platforms. At $25 for early access, that's a rough pill to chew for a lot of VR veterans. Hell, another game I love was also $25 with more maps. And they finally had to bite the bullet and lower the price permanently to $10 starting this weekend because the player base was just slowly dying. It sucks. I feel this game might have similar issues. I freaking loved it. It's really good. Feels good, fun to play. But until it has an easier barrier entry, as in releases on Quest platform, I can't really say it's gonna do well. <sighs> oh well, I can still destroy bots over and over and feel happy. That's it, Laserdisc, eject.